Hello friends, this video on DNF block elements part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more PA from exam. The next element is manganese, atomic number 25 and the short form is MN. See manganese almost looks like iron. Resembles and looks almost like iron. This is again hard brittle. Iron is brittle. This is hard brittle. Silvery grey. It is found in mostly in combined state. And it is used to prepare alloy. 90% of the manganese is used to make steel. Now this manganese word came from the Latin word Magnus. And this Magnus means magnetic. So because of this magnetic character, it was given this word manganese. It is used also in dry cell, but mostly it is used for steel production. In this paramagnetic. Again, it also has stable isotopes and radioactive isotopes. If you talk about iron, iron is Fe, atomic number 26, and the symbol is Fe. This is the most common element on Earth by mass. Most common element. On Earth by mass. It forms actually, if you talk about the Earth, the innermost core and the outermost core is actually made of iron for the Earth. The again, it is lustrous, silvery grey, but again, this oxidizes easily and it does not form the, the protective layer. Whatever it forms is iron oxide and that is rust and this iron oxide is passivating since it is passivating oxide layer I mean this oxide layer actually peels off and it exposes a new surface for further oxidation and thus you see corrosion of iron right so in aluminium iron Magnesium everywhere the reaction is same each of these are getting oxidized but in most of the case they form the protective layer and it helps in further I mean for, it helps in stopping further oxidation but in case of iron the oxide layer is passivating and with thus it peels off and it exposes a new fresh surface and that also is prone to oxidation or corrosion corrosion is the term exclusively used for iron Right. To talk about the pure iron, it is soft, pure iron. You add impurities like carbon and other stuff to make it hard. Okay. So use, if you talk about the use, the most important use of iron is this whole steel industry, the whole economy, transition iron. And it is also used in blood. If you have heard this term hemoglobin, hemo is nothing but iron. And it helps in transport of oxygen and other various activities in the blood. Talk about cobalt, atomic number 27, symbol is CO. It is found in again combined state, hard, silvery grey metal. And uh, it is also used in jewellery. This word cobalt came from German word. Most of the word you will see came from Greek. Few of them came from German also. The German word is Kobole. Kobole means what? That means global. That means 
Why? Because it gives the poisons arsenic containing fumes on smelting. See, if you talk about this cobole or this cobold actually, cobold. This cobold is nothing but a spirit, a ghost. And this ghost is in German mythology. And this ghost, they say that this ghost survive in the modern world. And this ghost is invisible and it, it takes the form of iron, sorry, it takes the form of fire, animal, human, and it's a very bad ghost. Similarly, this mineral from which they were extracting this cobalt, it used to give a poisonous gas and they didn't know what is the poisonous gas name. And this poisonous gas again was harmful. Right? So on smelting of the mineral, it used to give a poisonous gas. And this poisonous gas is now known as arsenic. So they used to think of this ghost because this ghost also kills people and this also kills people. And thus, this name Kobold came. And that is similar to Cobalt. Okay. So mainly it is prepared from the copper and nickel refining. This is found in copper and nickel. Copper and nickel ores, I can say. Yeah. Cobalt, it is used in lithium ion battery. It is also used as catalyst, we have seen. Again, it has uh, vitamin B12 has cobalt in it. And if you talk about the isotopes, yeah, it has uh, radioactive isotopes also. It has stable isotopes also. In fact, one of the radioactive isotopes is used as gamma source. Gamma ray source. It is also used as gamma ray source. That is one of the radioactive isotopes of cobalt. This is also a part of, these are all, if you see, are period 4. It is all period 4. All period 4. The next is nickel. This also, if you see, the nickel, atomic number 28, symbol is Ni, this is also part of P4, also silvery white, little gold tinge. This is hard, this is ductile, this also forms protective oxide layer. It is found typically in combined, combined seed with iron. And this also is named after a ghost, again a German word. So this copper nickel, if you see copper nickel, so nickel means actually what? Nickel means enemy or devil. In German. Okay. And this is called copper enemy. Why? Because, see, as I told you, that nickel typically you get from the copper ore. Now, some copper ore will have this nickel. Due to the presence of nickel in the copper ore, the refining of copper is difficult. Got it. Since the refining of copper is difficult and people were looking mostly for the copper that time, they called it enemy of copper. That is copper nickel. That was the name given. Okay. And then it became nickel. Nickel means enemy. That's the history of this uh, nickel element and this is used mostly in steel industry. Talk about copper. Copper has different color. So if you see copper doesn't have the typical silver white color which D block element has. So copper has different color. Atomic number 21, 29, symbol is Cu, period 4. 
You see, this is reddish brown color. This is ductile. We know copper is ductile. And we create copper wires out of it. Okay. This uh, has high thermal and electrical conductivity. And that's why you use copper for vessels and wires. It is soft and malleable also. And since this was mined in Cyprus, it is in Greece. So this was called cupra because this was mined in Cyprus. It is called cupra, and then Latin word is still cupra, C U, and then this copper word came. See, copper is essential for all living organisms. Actually, it is found in free form. I told very few of the D elements are found in free form. Copper is one of them. Copper also actually forms protective layer. It also forms protective layer, but it is found in free form. There are a lot of isotopes of copper. There are twenty nine isotopes of copper actually. And if you see, copper has been known for a long time. That's why we don't know the exact date when the copper was found. If you see, there is something called copper age. Right? It's ten thousand years back. So copper is known to people, known to human for a long time. This is used to form alloys. If you talk about alloys, brass, bronze, all these alloys. We'll talk about alloys in detail later. All these alloys. I mean, copper. Most of the alloys need copper. Coins we have seen. Coins are made of copper. Electrical wires, electrical equipments like geysers, they have copper. Even the cooking utensils has copper because the copper is good conductor of heat and electricity. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.